Wait, what? How did he get that? That's weird. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, how did he get out? Whoa! Oh my god, they're everywhere! Ah! Turn it off! Ah! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Stop shooting me! Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of uh, Enigmatica 2. Um, I've had some interesting times. Uh, I was just going to show you some of the stuff I've done first and then we'll get into the, the meat of what I was going to do today. So the first thing uh, I've been doing is I moved my blood altar down here and um, I kind of made a nice little... Uh, well, it's not supposed to be nice the, the uh, altar, I've kind of decorated it, which is not something I really do um, over there. Nothing is really decorated, but this looks pretty cool, I think. And the other thing I've done, this is now level four. Uh, I don't have my thingy on me, so I can't actually see the level. But I made a, um, a well of suffering underneath, which is really cool, because if we come down here, it's like this, uh, I've got this kind of spawning area where I, I currently have these lights on to like stop the spawning when I don't want to do it but this thing here is the well of suffering and basically any mobs that spawn here um, it deals like one one HP of damage per second to get 20 LP in the blood altar um, and because these mobs in this pack have such high uh, hit points they last forever and this gets really really full of lots and lots of mobs and it, like you get heaps of stuff and I've, I've got these, these uh, vacuum hoppers here to pick up their drops when they eventually die. So if I just quickly... Uh, oh, wait, no, that's not where I want to go. I want to go up here to get back out again. Ah, oh. uh, I'm just going to quickly... So I've got this lever here, turns off the lights down there, so they'll start to spawn pretty quick. And then they just, like, instantly start getting hurt. And, I mean, this is already full, so there's not much point. i just turn the lights back on. But if we go down now... You can see there's just like tons of mobs already and they're all like getting hit and if I leave this for another couple of minutes there'll just be like hundreds and hundreds of them down here and it's really awesome. Um, so I needed to upgrade this to level 4 so that I could make the um, iridescent altar which is this one here which I can now use to make um, some of the tier 6 seeds so if I go like uh, nether seeds is one thing that's tier 6. Right, and, and I need to use a, an iridescent altar, and I need one, two, three, four, five blocks of nether stars. So times nine stars, so that's like 45 times i got to kill uh, the wither to get the nether star seeds, which is kind of annoying. Uh, it's not too bad, I've done it a couple of times, it's actually pretty easy. Um, but the, So I'm kind of getting to... Yeah, I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> I've kind of got to the end game stuff here, so like, um, if you go down here, I've got a... Oh, I should have closed that gate, the pig mine escaped. I've got a second void miner set up over here, which is going to be um, the one that I upgrade. So this one has a magenta laser lens, and this one has a green laser lens. The green one gets you the, the litharite crystals, or whatever it is, and the, the magenta one gets you the second tier t crystals. So once I have enough of those crystals, I can make the second tier void miner and like slowly start to upgrade it but it still takes quite a long time so in the meantime what I've been doing is looking at uh, Draconic Evolution so uh, if you look here at the quests Draconic Evolution I've kind of got started I've got a um, the, the, the what do you call this thing the Draconic Core is actually pretty easy to make Draconic yeah this guy um, so if I was to say 100 then uh, all I need is some plutonium, some draconium, and some of this calcium sulfate, some magma steel, litharite crystals, so that's why I need lots of those, uranium, and like, yeah, so they're all pretty easy to get, and I'll, I'll get some more over time. I don't need to make a hundred of these anyway, right? So, uh, yeah, but the, the tough one is the wyvern core. Well, oh, no, I keep typing in the wrong one. Wyvern core, so not Wyvern energy core, but like Wyvern core, 
to make that, you need uh, three draconic cores, a nether star, which is why I wanted to start getting nether star seeds going. Uh, and I don't want to fight the wither like 50 times, just 45 times will do. <laughs> and then I could get the seeds. Uh, Ludicrite ingots, which is um, craftable in the carpenter. So you need some, just, this is actually pretty easy to do. Uh, liquid DNA, I think that means I need to get into gender I don't quite understand. I think this is the bees. Uh, if I go to this thing, invalid sample error, gender you get liquid DNA. I don't really know. Anyway, the main thing that I was doing before is uh, getting shulker shells. So you need lots of shulker shells. What's that? Primal mana. I don't know how to get that either. Uh, okay, I could get all those. Anyway. Uh, shulker shells. I thought that was an easy one to get. Like, I just go to the end, grab some shulkers, stick them in my spawner over there, and, like, spawn them and farm them. But, as you saw in the intro, that wasn't really working. So, yeah, there's one stuck in there. <laughs> they, they, uh, they have a habit of just teleporting straight away. Um, unlike the, so the endermen are easy, right? I can, I can put the enderman spawner in here and they die before they get a chance to so if I take that one out and put this one in uh, like the endermen die before they get a chance to to teleport away right so it actually works pretty well I'm just gonna go and kill this guy and while he's dying oh I got another shell still hear one. I don't know where that is. Um, so you can see once this starts to spawn, once these spawn in here they'll get essence. And come on essence. Come on spawner. Blah blah blah. Of course it's not going to start spawning now. Usually it spawns pretty quick. Let's open it up. Where is that guy? I reckon he's underneath. Is he down here? No. Maybe in this one? Oh, there he is. Why are you in it like a weird space? What? Ah! Oh, and he teleported again. There he is. Oh. Okay. No, there's still more somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, so the, come on, there we go. Uh, so, oh, there he is. Whoa. Uh, so like, oh, I gotta eat. So what was I saying? Um, yeah, the Enderman in this spawner here, right? They, they don't teleport away. They, they just like get hit and they run towards it and then they just die inside there. They never teleport out of there before they die. So, um, I don't know why the, the shulkers are different. The only thing I could think of, there's a couple of things I can think of. One is the shulkers have, oh, see, I saw one teleport, but I think what happens there is they die, they teleport at the moment they die. So they like, it's just a visual thing. But I've had these going for like hours and hours and never had any problem with them. Uh, but there's a couple of things I want to do anyway with this. Oh, that's really loud. Let me just turn that volume down a bit. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of things I wanted to do with this anyway, which is like to turn it off. The way I got to do it is I got to go in and like try and try and get in there and take this out before they spawn, and it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> So, um, I was going to get, at least, what we can do is get um, some wireless. These these are really cool. I wish I could paint them in Ender.io, but um, even still, they're pretty cool. I'm going to try a button to, so that I can just see. I want to see if spawning just one shulker means it'll teleport away, or if I can spawn one, kill it, spawn another, one, kill it. I guess we'll find out. Um, so, what I'm going to do... Is turn this to active with redstone signal, and then um, oh, I'm gonna use that to, to close it, and then I can go 
And actually, what I might just do is put it right there. Because down here is where the... Oh, he's down there! Whoa, there's another shulker down there. <laughs> I was never going to find that one. Yeah, so if I put the receiver there... See, this is why I wish you could paint them. Because, like, I want to paint that with grass. That would be really cool. But, you know, it doesn't matter. Whoops. What happened there? Where'd it go? Oh, in the vacuum hopper. <laughs> uh. I've got no sound. This thing makes hardly any sound now. Um, so let me grab this guy and tap it there. And then uh, I'll put the lever maybe just under here. Oh. So if I put that there and uh, let me just shove a button there. And put that bit of dirt back there. And oh, wait, where the other. Where'd that bit of dirt go? Did it go in the hopper too? Uh, let me get more dirt than that there. Alright, so... Uh, I'll put the Enderman in there. And if I close that and press this button, I should get one. Wait, there's more than one! One. Huh. That's weird. It must pulse for longer than... Alright, let me try the lever. Then I can do it quickly. I can... Because a button, like, ticks for longer, right? Okay. Oh. Has it run out of essence? No, why isn't it spawning? Now I'm too fast for it. Okay. So that seems to be okay. Let's try it with a shulker. Because I'm wondering why they... Why do they even teleport away? Like, do they teleport the instant they're spawned? Or do they get, like, backed up? And so, because from what I understand, the shulker will try to attach itself to a surface as soon as it spawns. Does it have to be a vertical surface? Or does it... Not mine. Hmm. That's something to try. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spawn just one and see if it'll attach to... Because the other thing is, right, this thing has a, has a, a working area of just like one... You know, this, this, this... So everything spawns right on that block there. So uh, maybe that's what it is. So let me just go. Oh, come on. There it goes. Wait. It, like, insta-teleported there. Even... That was weird. Okay, I don't get that. Did it like insta teleport over there? So maybe right. What I'm thinking does it does it attach to a vertical surface? Like, will that be enough? Oh, that was good. Oh no, it's still teleported, and it, I can't hit it though. What's going on? Oh, is it because it's covered up? Oh, 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 I don't want that! Okay. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Where'd it go? Alright, so that's not enough. It's still teleporting out. Okay. So the other thing is... The other thing... Is uh, is there one down there? There is. So the other thing I can do is like build a spawn of it's like way up in the sky, and then it won't be able to like. Then I can control exactly where it spawns. Like I can put um, because from what I understand, right? If if there's like a lever or a button. Um, or I think it won't attach to glass either. 
then um, I can build the if I build the entire thing out of glass, except for one valid spawn point, and then build it like twenty blocks in the air, it won't be able to teleport away. Maybe. And then I can do it. That's kind of annoying just for stupid shulkers. Come on. Why can't I? Can't even, here we go. I don't know why it's not moving. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I can't think of any other way to make it work. Whoops. He's teleported again. Any other way to block it from teleporting? Because there's just so many way places for it to teleport to here. They're not very happy, are they? Alright, I'm going to do that and then come back. Okay, so... I just finished moving this thing up. Uh, like 20-something blocks. So now... Hang on, I'm just going to get in there. Oh wait, no I don't. I can put it in from the bottom. So now, I'm just going to put this in here. Shulker. And flip that. And let's... Whoop! Okay. So... Whoa, 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 whoa! Turn it off! Oh no! <laughs> okay. Instantly, I found a problem. They can teleport onto the bottom. Uh, and why is the mob crusher not crushing them? Yeah, let me quickly turn it off. Uh, turn it off. No. There we go. Right, so let me kill these guys. Why is the mob crushing not crushing? So, I think... Hang on. I think I can stop them um, falling down. Or, like, going under here. With... Oh, be quiet, you guys. Oh, no. What's wrong with the mob crusher? Why is it working? Uh, hang on. Let me stop going down first. There we go. Oh, it hit me again! Uh. Do, 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 do. Oh, it keeps hitting me. Where did that one come from? These guys are really annoying. Are they fighting each other? Get this guy first. Do, 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 do. Right now, why is this not killing them? It's got power. Always active. Oh, I see. Wait. Ah, oh, the the hopper picked up the upgrade. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, is it upgrade? Uh, which one was it? None of those. Um, it is thermal expansion, right? No, what, what is this? I don't even remember the name of the mod. Uh, industrial foregoing. Okay, so. Oh, I should have. That's the guy. So, the first thing I'll do is do the range increase and that should kill them. Alright, and then I brought some buttons, which I think I could just put on the bottom here. And they won't be able to attach then. So if I put buttons all around here, I can't put one there because of the pipes. Alright, see how that goes. So it's run out of essence now. So we can turn this guy on. Should get us more essence. And I think that's good enough now. That's like super ugly though. I don't want to keep that there forever. Okay, so let's see how we go on now. Yeah, see now they've got nowhere else to teleport to except inside there. <laughs> they keep shooting it. So, I guess one... One solution... 
would be just to leave this until I get lots of shulker shells. Figure out a way to make this look nicer. Because, like, maybe I need a dimensional transposer or something to get the fluids. Uh, maybe I can move it, like, onto this island over here or something. Oh, but then I need to put buttons everywhere, don't I? It needs to be, like, at a glass or buttoned. Or, like I said, I just let this run until I fill up on shulker shells. Why is it stopped? Is this thing not spawning mobs? Yeah. Where was that? Is he around here somewhere? Yeah, there is one around here somewhere. I don't know where it is though. So, alright, this is working now. You just gotta put it up in the air where they can't, so they can't teleport away. I mean, it doesn't get them in one hit, does it? That's interesting. And now I got eight shulker shell shells. Alright, maybe what I'll do, I'll just let this thing run until I get like several stacks of shulker shells. And then I'll like disassemble it and take it down. And if at some point in the future we need more, uh, at least I know how to get it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, oops, wrong button. Okay. Alright, but uh, I think that, that'll be it for today. This is a fairly short one, just to show you some of the progress that I've made and have a bit of fun with the shulkers. Um, so thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.